welcome back to destination jamaica today we are celebrating the life of marcus messiah garvey our national hero the founder of unia which is the universal negro improvement association he has done so much not just for us as a people but for millions of africans worldwide so we toast to marcus garvey on his earth strong barn day now let's get into it let's learn a little bit about this phenomenal human being um, who's no longer with us but legacy lives on forever so marcus messiah messiah garvey jr was born on august the 17 1887 in st anne's bay as you may know he was a jamaican political activist a journalist a publisher an entrepreneur and an orator marcus is famously known for being the founder and first president general of the universal negro improvement association an african communities league commonly known as unia he was a pan-africanist and a black nationalist and his ideas are known to be Garvey, Garveyism. Now Garvey started his journey at a young age. He took an apprenticeship in the print trade as a teenager in Kingston before traveling to Costa Rica, Panama and England. Returning to Jamaica in 1914, he started the UNIA, which is the Universal Negro Improvement Association. As the founder and the first general of the UNIA, he moved to the United States and established a UNIA branch in Harlem in 1916. Marcus emphasized unity between Africans and the African diaspora. He campaigned for an end to European colonial rule across Africa and the political unification of the continent. He envisioned a unified Africa as a one-party state governed by himself that would enact laws to ensure black racial purity. Although he never visited the continent, he was committed to the Back to Africa movement, arguing that some people of the African descent should migrate there. Garvey preached unity, empowerment, development of businesses and trade between black nations across the world. In 1919, he became president of the Black Star Line, a shipping and passenger company. He established two transport goods and people between North America and Africa. His powerful words and actions quickly gained him a very large following. So you probably heard Martin Luther King saying that Marcus Garvey was the first man to give millions of Negroes a sense of dignity and destiny. So it's no doubt that he was very influential when it comes to black empowerment and unity. So of course the UNIA, it continued to grow. It grew rapidly in the 1918. In June that year, it was incorporated, and in July, a commercial arm, the African Communities League, filed for incorporation. Garvey envisioned UNIA establishing an import and export business, a restaurant, and more. He also proposed raising the funds to secure a permanent building as a base for the group. In April, Garvey launched a newspaper called the Negro World 
and it was backed by philanthropists such as Madam C.J. Walker. But six months after its launch was pursuing a special appeal for donations to keep it afloat. So Marcus Garvey is very much known for this newspaper and I want to take a moment to talk about an art piece that we're showing you here um, that symbolizes what Marcus Garvey was about. Um, it was created by Kavian Art who is pretty keen on creating historical, appealing and great powerful images for people. So you can check it out in the link below. Now before we continue, what are your thoughts on Marcus Garvey? How are you celebrating him? What is your favorite quote or favorite quotes by Marcus? He was definitely a great leader. All right, so let's continue. By 1919, the UNIA had 2 million members. It remained smaller than the better established National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, which is NNA, NAACP. Although there were some crossover in the membership of the two groups. Now, Marcus Garvey's journey mission was not without challenges. He had several things happening to him, such as the FBI infiltrating his organization, the Black Star Line not actually going much far, and um, the, he was committed for mail fraud. There was so much that actually happened to Garvey. There was also an assassination attempt. It was a lot that he had to deal with via his fight for black empowerment. He was in prison for a couple years. He returned to Jamaica and then he went to England and his life was no sh uh, not short of criticism and rebuttals and fights. He faced a lot and you can read more about Garvey online, learn about him, read his books that you can find on Amazon. Um, there's so much literature out there about Marcus Garvey. Now we're going to go on and uh, on to his national award. Marcus is said to be Jamaica's first national hero. He was given the author of the national hero in 1969 as per the second schedule of the national honors and award act. He is one of our several seven current national heroes. We will never stop celebrating Marcus Garvey. What he contributed was tremendous and has significantly resulted in us being free, in being empowered, in owning more businesses, in becoming more unified. Without Marcus Garvey, think, what would the world be like? many of the greatest black leaders that you know of. Marcus Garvey came before them and inspired and influenced them in their own mission. Now here is a little song for Marcus. Let's toast to him by coffee because you know how we do it in Jamaica. We celebrate and we celebrate large. So toast to Marcos Garvey, thank you so much for your service, for your contributions, for everything that you've done for our little and Talawa country and overall world. All right, guys, so that's it. Do remember to subscribe for more. Uh, we do have more coming your way. We're looking forward to the race on the 21st. And then the World Cup is started in September, so that's something to look forward to. We'll share more culture, more sports, more music, and so much more with you. Subscribe, turn on the notifications so that you can know when we drop something new. All right, on a big up on yourself, on a large, on a great, on a powerful, awesome people. Never forget that. Have a great day, and we'll chat soon.